right, so let me tell you about uh, how we filmed in Garage Hero. The main camera that we use for a lot of the productions, uh, Gun Caliber and uh, right now Strega, is uh, the Exacti. This here is the Exacti, I believe it's the Exacti uh, 2000. They're still so different models, the Exacti 1000, uh, 1010, and the 2000, I think they made a new one, but they're all affected the same damn camera. We use mainly because they're just tiny. They're really easy to control. So the distinct uh, look of the Garage Hero production you can probably see is that there's a lot of motion. You know, I told you about when in doubt, create a lot of motion. The Exacti is really good at that. It's really good at, you know, just getting in different angles, going low, high, however you want it, inside, outside, and with relatively little fuss. And also it's cool because it shoots HD. Back when we first started, HD was just barely starting to come out, and you know, actually me and Bueno had a bit of discussion. He was shooting a stray bullet on um, standard resolution. I was saying, dude, we gotta go high definition, high definition, and uh, the future won out and proved me right. So there you go, Bueno, you're welcome. Right, Bueno? Like I say, I was like, we had a discussion, like you were shooting stray bullet on, res on standard resolution. I was saying, dude, HD is the way to go. And he's like, oh, I don't need more fucking HD. Like, future one out, my friend. My New Year's resolution is 720p. 720p? <laughs> it's 1080 nowadays, sir. We shoot 720p, uh, frankly, because it's a it's a relatively compact format. And in many ways, it just gives us less problems than 1080. 1080 is, like, honestly, on our computers right now. Well, I think Bueno got some fancy computer, but before it was uh, just really taxing and just impossible to work with. So 720 was just about the right space. It was still HD, it still looked good. Still got the job done. Uh, the little, little feature of the Exacti. Other thing is also they're very cheap. A new Exacti is about six hundred dollars, which is still kind of pricey, honestly, for the camera. But you can get a used one in Japan for about you know twenty thousand yen. So for less than hundred bucks, you have a very, very good you know compact camera, and you can take anywhere. Again, these things are also pretty damn indestructible. I mean, we had a scene like where um, the camera literally fell off the rooftop. I'm talking about a good eight-story dive, and it, it still worked. It worked. No, the lens isn't cracked. Uh, the screen is just a little dented. It was like, wow, okay. It started kind of gunking up after about a year, but you know, it fell off a rooftop and it still went on for a year. That's a pretty impressive camera, in my opinion. So the Exacti itself is this pretty decent standard lens. It's got a pretty standard a 1.8 uh, to 250, 2.5. I'm sorry. It's just very bright. It can be used in dark spaces really effectively. It's also got an impressive zoom. I forget the exact proportions uh, and equivalent on a regular 35 uh, millimeter camera, but it's uh, wide. It's about a 24 millimeter, and uh, when zoomed, it's about 200 millimeter. I could be wrong about that, but basically that means that when it's wide, it's nice and wide. It's not too tight. When it's zoomed in, it's really you get this kind of nice, almost filmic look out of it, which we hardly ever use just because it's uh, kind of annoying to set it up like that. So that's why a lot of garage productions uh, look pretty video-y, except for like, let's say, Ayakashi Zamudai, which I believe was shot on a Canon. Uh, so we use a zoom lens mainly for shutter action stuff and for drama scenes, just because we get that versatility. Uh, for the action stuff, we use this, um, this fisheye lens. This fisheye lens actually is not all that great, optically speaking. I'm sure Bueno is just gonna be like blah, 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 but I'm, a, I'm usually a camera guy, a professional photographer, blah, <laughs> blah. The fisheye here, we're using this uh, this Hong Kong Vivitar uh, fisheye lens. To be honest, optically speaking, it's nothing that incredible, but uh, it works, it, again. Garage production, I'd gain things done cheap and dirty, and it works. I mean, I'm a bit of a camera guy myself, and, um, Mm. To be honest, uh, for the garage look, I think it works well. The advantage of the fisheye lens is just, it creates this very exaggerated look. If you look at the fight scenes in a garage hero, you'll see it, everything looks really kind of exaggerated cartoony. Everything's just kind of a little bit, well, bubbly. So fists are really big and huge, you know, when the, when the bad guys are far away, look like a thousand miles away. It creates a distinct look that works in our favor because it creates um, style. And also it uh, creates impact. So the fight scenes look just ever so slightly big, even though we're shooting on this uh, standard park over here. But when you see the fight scenes, they look kind of exciting and unique and uh, dynamic. Partially because we're using this damn lens. That's it for this episode of Tokusatsu Film School. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Also give it a nice thumbs up. And also subscribe to GPTV for more upcoming content. Comments, questions, and suggestions are always welcome, and we do respond to them. So please leave a comment for us in the comments section. You can also contact us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, or even directly through our email, garagehero7 at gmail.com. Also be sure to check out our original Not Safe For Work Tokusatsu Gun Caliber, as well as our Jidai Geki Fantasy web series Ayakashi Samurai, which was shot in collaboration with Toy Company Limited and the YouTube Space Tokyo. Tune in next time for more Tokusatsu Film School right here on Garage Pro TV.